Georgia nose tackle John Jenkins spent two years as a disruptive force in the middle of the Dogs' 3-4 defensive front, but played on the end in the SEC championship game against Alabama. He's hoping that versatility will make him even more valuable to the NFL. Nobody's going to be at a game plan for me because if I can do what I did at the nose, then I come out to the end, I mean, you're going to have, I'm going to make sure you double team me. So, I mean, like, I, I want to be that guy, that type of impact in the league. What do you think you still have to prove to the league about your game so you're drafted where you want to be drafted? Uh, pass rushing. That was a lot of questions. Everybody knew I could stop the run. Everybody knew I was a physical. But now they wanted to they question my ability to pass rush. So now I'm like, man, what happened when they see that I'm playing defensive end? I'm on DJ Fluker, you know? But at the same time, that shouldn't even stop my capabilities of pass rushing. So when I got to A.J. McCarron, I was like, man, this is what I do. But Jenkins' game against Alabama was his last, as he was ruled ineligible for the bowl game due to what was described at the time only as academic issues. How much are scouts asking you about that, and what are you telling them? Uh, they're asking me that very exact question. Uh, <clears throat> what happened? And I'm telling them, man, a lot of people may not know that I was diagnosed with a concussion after the Alabama game. I didn't want that to get out so soon. So by that being said, um, when I was diagnosed, it was within the same week of me taking my finals. So I, I tried, I, I went for my final, tried to take it, tried to do the best I could. It was a little tough, but I mean, I gave it the best I could and I ended up short. And I just want to apologize to my team and the Dog Nation for uh, not being able to play in a bowl game, but my team knew the, uh, knew the situation. And for the Dog Nation who didn't know about the situation, that's what happened. To a large part of the Dog Nation on Twitter, Jenkins found himself nicknamed Motel 6. He believes because of the way he hit some ball carriers and turned their lights off. After my game against Mississippi State when I had slammed a running back like that, and it just stuck. Man, everybody, I'll go to the dog walk, Motel 6, Motel 6. <laughs> but you don't leave the light on. Yeah, I don't, man. I try to knock the light off as many times as possible. And now Jenkins stands at the doorstep of having a dream come true. I have that shot, and it's up to me to walk through that door. But as soon as I walk through that door, you ask me that question then. Well, I know what you're going to do when you walk through the door. <laughs> you're going to turn off the lights. <laughs> yeah, that's the goal, man. That's the goal. I got to get the job done, man. I have to. I don't know any other way to do it. For John Jenkins, it looks like the light has come on.